Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Cross watchers are welcome. Yeah, I'm not doing personals or anything like that right now. I actually took it out the description, so... Are you ready to be entertained? <laughs> Virgo gang gang. I hope you are doing well and taking care of yourselves because I am. Okay. Do I want to start with this? Let's get some messages first. Oh. Didn't I just say that? I ain't had no THC today, I swear. I had a shitload of caffeine, though. Okay. <clears throat> you triggered me. Hmm, Virgo, what else is new? You stay triggering people. Like you triggered each other. I'm scared of rejection. All right, OCD, can I be great today? <laughs> okay, so maybe you said no to this person. You triggered them because you was like, no, nah, I'm not dealing with this, son. We're not doing this. Is it over? See? Like, uh, I don't got a typical Virgo Virgo placement stuff. Like, I ain't done with that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, sorry about the glare. That's actually from the cell phone. So, like, there's nothing I can do about that. Childhood trauma, obstacles and blocks. What's blocking this connection is somebody may have experienced some sort of childhood trauma um, where they possibly were rejected or pushed away a lot as a kid. So, yeah. Sexual desire. This person miss, misses screwing you. Who gives a shit? Tyler Tick. Um, yeah, who gives a shit? But <laughs> this person, they, they miss that thing thing. Painful memories. So there's somebody here that's focusing more on the bad than the good. I can't stand people like that, but whatever. They're focusing more on the bad than the good. This love is crazy. What you do? Let's get into it. Like this person, they could be praying for you, okay? Somebody here is a hopeless, excuse me, is a hopeless romantic story of my life. Okay. You must have said something. <laughs> you shocked the shit out of this person. You must have sent them a message, said something to them that possibly triggered them, okay? Yeah, you moved on. You started loving yourself. You, you rejected this person. Interesting. Under pressure. This person, they feel like time is running out. They're like, is it over? I feel like they want to try again. Somebody here could be losing sleep. Yeah, so this person has childhood trauma around, like, their parents, okay? Um, and also, maybe this person, they fear rejection. Somebody here possibly was married and divorced. Or there's somebody here that wants to marry you. 
Somebody could have a sexual addiction or something and they're trapped by it. It's more to life than that, bruh. Ashamed in the outcome. Guilt, embarrassed, and in the wrong. They feel like time is running out. On the bottom, we have illumination, truth, discovery, and awakening. I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot. Yeah, you felt like you had to you just had to move on. And now this person they they feel like they're under pressure and they're like they don't want it to be over. And what was stopping this connection from getting off the ground was somebody somebody's childhood trauma, be it yours or theirs. I'm going to play devil's advocate today. Um who was it? split the deck. We have the lovers upright. Gemini energy. Somebody's watching you too. They always watching you. Trust me, I will not quit my daytime job. And then it came out reverse. You triggered this person, a possible Gemini. Um, somebody left somebody for somebody else, but they don't want it to end. Be it you or them. Somebody left somebody else for somebody else. Page of Cups. How you feel towards this person. You have a lot of love for this person. You care for this person. But this mutual energy right here. Like what's the energy as of now. The mutual energy. Is somebody got triggered here. Okay. And it could have been because of a third party situation. Doesn't have to be. Um, but with the world card reverse. It's saying that this is not over. And we have the Page of Cups. On how you feel towards this person. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You were like look. I know you may feel rejected, but I have to move on and I have to take care of me. You know, I have to embrace self-love. Yeah. High Priestess reverse Pisces energy because you felt like at one point you weren't trusting your, you weren't trusting your intuition. And possibly some secrets came out. Somebody does not want this to end, though. Something about you possibly had a spiritual connection with this person, but you was like, you know, I'm just going to pull my energy, my spiritual energy back. And now this person, they feel stuck like time is running out. Like, is this over? Because I don't want it to be over. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. They don't know what to do. Somebody feels stuck, trapped, embarrassed, guilty. Five of Swords told you trying to do something and win at all costs. Like sometimes in life we we try to compete or over compete, and then you somebody is left looking stupid. And this is why, like, I am the way I am. Like my dude just realized he like, yo, you eccentric. Yeah, you're not a bad person. You just eccentric. I say yeah, and so therefore I'm saying that to say when it comes to relationships, you know. All that trying to make the other person jealous, especially for a Virgo. If you're a cross watcher for a Virgo, listen here. That it's not gonna work. It's a turn off. It'll it'll make a man's pee pee soft. It'll make a woman's coochie dry. I don't fucking know. But it doesn't work for the simple fact that we know what we're capable of giving in a relationship. And if you show us that you don't appreciate what we're giving them in a relationship and you try to make us jealous and do all these little stupid little games, we'll walk away. You play stupid games and you win stupid prizes <laughs> and nobody wants, nobody wants that. Why is married here? The nine of cups, obstacles and blocks. What's blocking this connection is somebody wishes to be married. This could be you or them. 
But what's blocking this wish fulfillment is childhood trauma, okay? Or some sort of abandonment or some sort of issue, be it codependency, fear of intimacy. I'm getting that too. Childhood trauma can also cause a fear of intimacy, right? Especially if you had a fucked up childhood. The strength card. Somebody's holding, they're holding back. They're holding back the fact that you're their wish fulfillment and they want to marry you. If you're a cross watcher, this possibly could be a Virgo that wants to marry you. Okay. But they're holding back. The five of cups reverse. I don't know why I'm here. I'm free your mind. Okay, in vogue. You, look, motherfuckers, I can't sing. <laughs> Somebody is using, like, sex to cope. It's going to make you feel more fucking empty, especially if... I don't know. Whatever. Knight of Pentacles. Stop crying over spilt milk. But somebody wants to come towards you. This is looking fairly stable, but possibly somebody could be trapped in something else. Again, like some sort of sex addiction or something. We're going towards Capricorn energy. But the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving night in the deck. But when they do come, it's... I hate that word. Longevity, long-term, whatever, stable, a foundation. Okay, but the advice position right now is truly to focus on yourself and what you're passionate about too, you know? Um, maybe you two separated and it hurt it and you're like, you know, I, I no longer wanna be hurt by this. The three of pentacles reversed. So the outcome to this particular situation the outcome and why you two really little to little to no communication. Um, this person has painful memories and they feel ashamed for like not putting the work into this. They possibly feel like they let you down or they feel like you let them down. I'm just telling you what I'm getting. The Queen of Pentacles. There you are, Virgo. Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. And so with these two cards next to each other, this is telling me that this particular person, they see stability with you because the Queen of Pentacles is a very stable, um, grounded, somebody that's a homemaker, somebody that loves nature, um, somebody that's down to earth. And they see you like that. So then we have the Chariot Upright. Cancer Energy. Somebody wants to come towards you speedily, speedily. Okay. And the chariot card talks about success. So whatever you're working on, whatever you're working on, keep doing what you're doing because it's working for you. Okay. Let's go to the next part. Okay, let's go to the eccentric reading, bitches. I've been dying. <laughs> I've been dying to do it. Mm. Okay, we're going to start this reading, y'all. That's the weird reading. Not into weird readings. You don't have to watch this part. Okay. I might start with that. And this. Give me this. Okay. Wait. I know y'all probably like, she ain't even ready. Hold up. Okay. Let me in my lineup. Let me in my lineup. Let me do this, this, this. That like that. Wait, that like that. I need that like that. Okay. So we're gonna start with if anybody like I really don't resonate with this deck to be honest, but I really feel like 
if you watch Tyler Tarot, um, this deck would be good for him, but I tried. He doesn't have a way to get decks sent to him. So if somebody could recommend this deck, because it has everybody in it. And you know, he like horror movies and shit. So Island of Lost Souls, the movie Halloween, the Baba Duke. Scream, the movie Scream, Cat People. It got Freddy Krueger in here. It got Carrie in here, bitches. That's my bitch. <laughs> Children of the Night. <sighs> Dracula, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Like this Candyman. Tell Tyler to get this deck. I got it off of Amazon, okay? And then we have It, but we're gonna start with this, okay? I know y'all missed my little eccentric ass readings so let's get to it let's see who's weird ass story we can pick up on let's split the deck we have trap i like it i mean it shuffles well okay make sure there's no cards stuck to it so we have illness Somebody here could be dealing with some sort of illness and they're not telling you about it, okay? Family. Let me get my six cards out. Okay, somebody could... Get help, but somebody could be in a domestic violence situation, okay? Somebody's family possibly could have turned against somebody. Midnight. Okay, so I don't like that. Automatically, with my, let me move my tablet. Automatically, what I get. Is that? Is that a gremlin? Midnight. Who is doing what at midnight? We will get into that. What are they doing at midnight? And then we have face. Somebody's mask possibly could have slipped off. I'm telling you, that ADD and OCD is very real for me. On the bottom, we have experience. That's Hellraiser. Somebody may have experienced something extremely traumatic, okay? I'm getting a cry for help. I'm just gonna go over these cards. Um, somebody could be sick here. Somebody possibly was wearing a mask. You may have felt like somebody was pretending. Um, there could be magic involved. I don't like that midnight card, you guys. Get some tarot on it. I'm using the Edgar Allan Poe tarot. Which will probably help me make a lot more sense of this. Somebody here is really gifted too, spiritually. Okay, the Five of Swords reverse. Maybe somebody got caught practicing magic on somebody. That's what I'm getting, somebody got caught. And we have the Knight of Swords reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. But somebody here, it could be an air sign that is sick here. If you're a cross watcher, maybe your Virgo is sick. The world card. Maybe you felt like somebody was wearing a mask and you decided to end it with the world card here. Um, 
somebody here and i'm heavy on the air sign because that's two swords cards somebody here isn't doing too well and if you know who this person is you need to check on this person that's way too many that's like six cards wait a minute Why is the world card here? Death. You're not very trusting, are you? Scorpio energy? Because this was like heavy on the ending. Like, you're not very trusting. Maybe somebody had family obligations here. Somebody's child... Um, could be doing something that's like a cry for help. Have the moon card reverse. I don't know, for some of you, this is about family. This is about family. This ain't even about a person. You know what? This is about family. All right. How you, your family... For some of you, not all of you, please don't, please don't take it if it's not for you. Your family feels like they finally see you for who you really are. Okay, five of cups reverse. They see, for some of you, you're a loner, you're a black sheep, you're like an outcast or whatever the fuck. And your family, they like, well, dad she you know just cut us off because maybe you felt like your family was being like indifferent or just a little too cruel somebody had a traumatizing childhood i'm gonna just state the facts somebody had a traumatizing childhood and somebody cried out for help and they didn't get the help they needed Three of Pentacles reverse, yep. Well, like, what the fuck? Somebody didn't get the help they needed. All right, so I know I'm not going to use this deck since I know where this is going. I'm not going to use that one either. I'll use these two. Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse here? Why is the Three of Pentacles reverse? The Page of Wands. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. I feel bad for this person's childhood. Like, literally, whoever. I feel bad for this person's childhood because this person felt like the devil was literally chasing them. And then possibly the family tried to make you out to be crazy. Somebody may have a mental illness here, too. And then we have the magician. Didn't I say it was fucking magic involved? At midnight, I'm not like, I'm still going to give this reading a love title, whatever. But if you made it to this part, oh shit. And the five of pentacles reverse. So somebody could be working magic to disrupt your finances. I know you're fucking lying. Somebody's working magic at midnight. Could be a family member. Doesn't have to be. Could be somebody. But we have family here. The four of wands reverse. It's like. I, I'm, I just want to apologize in advance. Whoever is reading this is. This is your family. It's fucked up. Like that. Like. Didn't want to see you happy. Queen of Swords reverse. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I'm hearing poker face. Po -po -po poker face. Somebody didn't want you to have a happy home. Somebody didn't want you to be happy. Seven of Swords reverse. But the truth is going to come to light. And so this is somebody's reading. Shit, partially mine. But who gives a fuck? Listen. The truth came to light. 
Let me use this Panther Oracle. You're gonna be like, Jackie, you spoiling us. I am. I am. That's all I like what I do. And for some of you, I feel like you had some individuals that just kept poking and poking and poking the fucking bear and poking the fucking bear. And you're like, what? I saw that as I split the deck. I saw a marriage again. Then I saw fate. I know I need a refill. Don't look at my raggedy ass nails. I'm mad. I went to the nail salon and they put too much acrylic. They used way too much acrylic. Okay, that's a lot of acrylic. Nobody's nails grow the fuck like that. I had to find me a good nail salon in Oklahoma. I have not found a regular nail tech yet. Everybody keeps messing my nails up. Okay, why is... What is this, the king of the night? I'm blind, y'all. The knight of swords reversed here. Friendship. Team, connection, network. Okay, so it's a group of people. Possibly family. Possibly family and friends. I don't like this. Readiness. Preparation, prompt, arrangement. But you were re like, you're the kind of person you like, look, I stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. Um, many of you are very in tune with nature, very in tune with God. Maybe somebody fucked around and found out. Something got reversed. I'm just saying. Illness, family, illness. A group, a team, family, illness. Team, illness, family, illness. Like, I'm not good at what I do. <sighs> I love my channel. Merit making, obstacles and blocks. So you felt like the devil was chasing you. You started praying and asking God for help because your family wasn't fucking helping you. Oh, this reading is pissing me off. Pissing me off. Second stop. Indulgence at midnight. Okay, friendliness interaction and joy so what kind of inter okay so whoever decided to attack you in the spirit let me just nicely say this they wasn't ready they wasn't ready adventure again you had to save face you had to save face and bounce explore passion and travel Shit, I'm blessed. I've been traveling. I've been seeing some of the most beautiful things and having the most beautiful experiences. And on the bottom, we have stress. So this experience caused you a lot of stress. Plotting. Somebody possibly tried to read your destiny. Now I'm pissed. Bribe, temptation, persuasion. How is somebody going to try? How? Who the fuck? Why would somebody try to change your destiny or interrupt your destiny? And these are people you really cared about, man. Like, give me a memory. Oh, I can't read them words down there. They too small. I need glasses, y'all. Then we have mask. Again, mask, mask. 
deception, pretending. So let me get this straight. So you have people around you that were pretending to care about, like pretending. They didn't like you. They didn't like your ass. I'm just going to say the facts. I know you probably like, Jack, you wilding. I ain't change. I may have went quiet, but I ain't fucking change. Shit, I may be a private person, but I ain't fucking change. I may not tell all my business, but I ain't fucking change. <laughs> There could have been some people here possibly trying to ruin your reputation. Assassinate your character. Somebody could be jealous. Travel or a new vehicle. <laughs> You're about to get a new car. I, I saw um, something the other day. I was doing a reading for myself. A new car came out like three times. Somebody's about to get a new car. We have doubt here. So you, so they tried to make you be delusional. Okay, peep game, peep game. This says you have to be a little delusional to be successful. A lot of people don't know that. Oh, can y'all see that? Okay. So they like, oh, we gonna try to alternate her reality and his or her reality and make them out to look delusional even though you had an awakening you had a spiritual awakening very young for somebody i'm not gonna take them you had an awakening very very young we have chaos somebody's childhood was so fucking traumatizing that you called out for help and the only person you could turn to was the creator mystery you're a fucking mystery to people and they like why can't we you know frustrate this person's plans or destiny and why can't we create per uh why can't we create chaos in this person's reality or evil influence you're mysterious, you're experiencing a transformation, but there are some persons here that didn't lay dead. Sudden or unexpected progress in the outcome. You had to save face, leave. There go that. There it go. Told you. Prayer is an all-purpose weapon. I know that's the fuck right. We have priorities. And holding on. Hold on to your sanity. Hold on to your mental health. And hold on to your faith. And you'll be alright. Because I don't know what these people thought they were going to do. They wanted your mind, body, and soul. A turn of events. Well, poor little Tink Tink. You got people stalking you. Now's the time to take that step forward and follow your dreams. And you deserve it. Let me get you an angel number. And we're going to close out. Bitches. That was interesting. But you know, you, love readings are so popular, so you always got to put that first. But I'm like, this is where I be at. But let's leave on a positive note for you, okay? Nineteen nineteen, And on the bottom, we have 111. I'm just your synchronicity girl, okay? Cycles, karma, warning, judgment, influence, power, cycles, change, rebirth. Karma will be paying you a visit. Release the need to control because you cannot force things. Learn your lessons so that they don't repeat in the future. Make some space for new experiences. Exactly. You got tired of certain things repeating. Somebody's about to get their karma. Be it good, be it bad. None of us can avoid it or anything like that. Okay, can't change it, can't alternate, can't, you can't. And you're also going through a rebirth and possibly closing out a cycle. Okay. People judged you too harshly. And then we have 111 on the bottom. Intuition, moderation, patience, flow, clarity, joy, movement, self-reflection, taking action, unconditional love. 
Time to implement long cherished ideas. You're on the right track toward making your dreams and visions a reality. <laughs> and that's what they, you know what, whatever, who gives a shit? Um, the right people, circumstances, and resources are being sent your way. Happiness and new opportunities are at hand. Trust in the process. Trust the process, Rudy. Well, you guys, this is all I have for you. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. You know I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.